hi students this is another application of integration as we have seen area under the curve from <clears throat> integral perspective now this is about the rotation about x-axis if i take any function for example y equals to three okay of course it is a horizontal line and uh, like we divided the area under the curve in different rectangles or polygons and then we added all together to get the area under the curve similarly what i have done there is a one rectangle or a polygon under that area and now we are not going to see the area we are going to rotate the function about x-axis so the red line you can see here is the x-axis this is the 3d view on my right and uh, you can see the green line is representing y equals to 3 and the this red line is representing x-axis so what i'm going to do i'm going to spin it rotate about x-axis and then you see how the new shape will form so you can see here the angle is 20 degree rotation and look at this is only the rectangle okay not the whole function the rectangle is rotating about x-axis and uh, I, I hope you guess already what is this shape okay and this shape is particularly called a disk okay so this is actually called disk method okay what I'm gonna do I'm going to move this from uh, lower limit to the upper limit okay see this is the uniform disk it's circular disk of course the surface is circular and uh, the radius is not changing the radius is fixed because it is a horizontal line and if we rotate the function let me take back and rotate the whole function okay not only this let me hide it so let's spin this look what is this shape so it is actually the sum of all disks when you stack all the disks or make layers and then this becomes a, rect a rectangular prism or you can say a cylinder and you can see the radius is from x-axis to the highest value and the highest value in this case is three okay and we can see the intersection part now you can see that's how the radius is three units because it depends on the function if i make it two it becomes two the radius is two this time because the line has reached to two only okay we can try one more we can try one more with the guys this time I'm taking a line y equals to x plus 2 or x plus 3 whatever you you feel and uh, I can see a diagonal line and if I can show you that that's the polygon under this area width is the dx and the height is the radius now this time what is happening the radius will change because the height is changing this height I'm talking about that height okay let me show you from uh, this disk let's go to zero and uh, see the disk spin it so rotate it i'm rotating it and you can see i got a disk of a particular radius at this time okay because it's not going to be same let's see from w if i move it look the disk is becoming smaller and smaller as it approaches to to the left extreme value okay so this time the radius is variable okay so the radius is variable it means we cannot just look and add the area or the volume just by calculating only one disk okay you can see here that is the shape you can see again so it will make a cone uh, like a tent okay 
and you can see this and look at the radius is changing the radius is changing and at the extreme high, uh, to, right value the radius is maximum okay look so in this case volume will be definitely calculated from this disk and then we can add all so here comes the integral part the integration for example how to figure out this volume guys for any uniform solid okay the volume is area of its base times by its height so this is a circular disk okay so the circular disk area is always pi times r square so pi r square is the area of the disk and the height the the width this is dx so the volume will be pi r square times dx okay and then as the radius is changing when i change my x values okay so here we can use the integration concept so when you integrate from a lower limit for example minus 2 to 1.2 whatever it is and then we integrate that whole function okay because integration means we are adding something which is variable okay so we are adding the sum of those rectangle those disks okay and that's how we can get the volume of the whole solid which is formed after rotating the line okay so we can take some more examples let's say a square root of x plus 2 plus 1 or something let's say this okay look i'm going to zero now and you can see it if i rotate about x axis this is the solid shape okay, a 3d shape you can say okay a 3d shape and of course the radius is again changing in this case so the disk method suggests if we calculate volume of one disk and then we integrate with respect to x because x is changing and then how we can figure out the total volume of the solid under because of this curve okay so i hope you understand the major concept here the area of the disk is pi times r square and the radius is given by the y value the height above from x-axis okay so in this case it is 2.58 because of this calculation and you can see it will change it will change look the radius on the blue is changing okay and that's why we are integrating we are integrating with respect to x so the formula becomes pi times r square dx and then integration from a to b okay remember the radius is the y value the y means the function okay not at particular point but as a